been a lovely experience and we've had a, an, an excellent three days with the, both in the cathedral and then today at Carfin, so that's rounded it off in a very nice way and celebrating the, the National Pilgrimage Mass here and to, to, to look forward to, to the, the Jubilee year next year. But it's, we've, it's been reinforced our, our connection with the Universal Church and with Pope Francis and he's been a very gracious guest and I've enjoyed his company here too in, in, in the, the Cathedral House and in the other places I've been with him so it's, it's been a great few days and very thankful to God that he came and that we've enjoyed it all together as a diocese and as a church in Scotland. It's been a great privilege to welcome the representative of the Holy Father here to, to Carfin Grotto. In fact, we're going to be lucky he's going to be coming back a few weeks' time for a, a day for the religious. So that's two visits from the Apostolic Nuncio in the space of a few weeks. So we're very privileged um, to have welcomed him here, uh, his first time, obviously, uh, in the grotto. Um, his predecessor was here once and uh, he expressed a great willingness to come back. He was promoted to greater things. Um, so I'm great. I'm grateful that his his successor, uh, Archbishop Miguel, um, has come to be with us today. Now, today, this is the Church of the Acts of the Apostles, and we are the ones that are called to be attractive, to draw people in, because of the joy that is a reflection of our hope that understands the love of God is unchanging and is eternal. And we're invited to do that in prayer throughout the year of Jubilee. So let's do that. Use the Our Father. Maybe also use the prayer of Our Lady. The great prayer of joy and thanksgiving. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. To me it's a wonderful experience being here today and being the annual pilgrimage and so being present here, I think I'm so happy and grateful to God. To me, it's just a way like saying thank you God for what God has done for me. I would say it's a great opportunity coming back here. I've been here twice. This is my third time. And each time I come here, I feel a bit of rekindled, believing more that there is God and having hope in humanity, seeing so many people from far and near coming here for one purpose. It's been absolutely lovely and a pleasure to have the, the Nuncio here. Ah, it's just a really good turnout and I, I really, it was good to experience with the, with the new Nuncio, yeah. Uh, and it was good to, it's just a good experience and it was good to see what, such a good turnout and the weather stayed good as well. I thought it was a bit terrain, but it was good, aye. Beautiful, lovely service. Yeah, there's something about outdoor masses at Carfin, there's just something really, really special about it. It's almost like, you know, you look just at the um, grotto there and behind it all the trees and you just get that real sense of the Holy Spirit descend descending on everyone. And it just, it's, I don't know, there's just something really, really good about it. And what a special occasion to have the people Nuncio here as well, so, no, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. feel very spiritually uplifted. Yeah, it's, it's been very wonderful seeing all the group that have gathered for this pilgrimage, the national pilgrimage. And uh, to make it more glorious, the Nuncio also came to grace with this occasion. So we are really grateful for today. And uh, we are going with good memories. And especially, we, are, we have now started officially the prayer for the next year Jubilee we are doing. So this is a pilgrim of hope and it's wonderful for me and my sisters to be here. I've come a few times and I hope to come again and again. It's lovely to be here. This is my second time actually. Act uh, yes. This um I actually I came to Perth visiting so and I was oh, it was 
fortunate for me that this is the time that they're coming for free. They just told me yesterday and I just <laughs> jumped into the <laughs> and I was very much to be here. I'm, I'm very much happy to be here at the second time. Our joy can be one of those changing conditions. If they see us enjoying our faith, if they can see us celebrating what it means to be a Catholic, celebrating what it means to know the love of God, then we can become the change of condition that helps them see what has always been there, but they've not been able to notice. That is the kind of evangelization that's open to all of us.